Satnam, aloha. Welcome to my live stream. And I wanted to uh, send out a message, a short message, because there's so much going on this week. And uh, I'm a little bit tired, but I can deal with that. So there's a lot going on in the world this week with Australia on fire and the threat of war. So speaking of war, I just want to um, share my screen so we can look at the chart together. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's the chart. And look at that. The sun, you can see that in the mandala. The sun just moved into the shadow of greed. We're really working that to death, aren't we? The shadow pattern of greed. <clears throat> and it's um, the lunar eclipse, too, on the 10th is also in the shadow of greed. Okay, so speaking of war, um, there, I don't know if you know this, but there are a few countries that refuse to have a Rothschild central bank. And guess what those countries are? North Korea, Syria, Venezuela, Cuba, and Iran. Hmm, interesting, eh? So uh, just a reminder to um, uh, subscribe, like, subscribe, ring the bell so that you can uh, be up to date with these transits that are rooted in the human design system. So a little bit more uh, specific than just uh, astrology. So here you have Neptune, right? You see your Neptune, the, the yellow right there. It's in the 63rd uh, gate. And so this is the shadow of doubt, it's the shadow of doubt. So Nept Neptune veils whatever it touches. So it creates a fog, right? So what it's doing is creating doubt in the mind. Right, because this is coming from the head center. If you look at that 63, it's coming from the head center, the crown chakra. So this shadow makes you overthink everything and it gets, right, you get nowhere. So, um, and it can create a lot of anxiety, mental anxiety. So mainstream media is also creating doubt in the minds of people, right? So what is truth? Right, that's the gift here with the shadow frequency moves into the higher frequency of truth, right? And we're not going to get to truth with the mind. So let doubt just be there for yourself, especially if you have doubt uh, about yourself and your abilities, right? Especially now. Um, so Neptune also teaches us to surrender, right? And the shadow placement is sitting there until January 30th, 2020. And then it moves into the gift of grace, right? So just let the doubt be there. And then truth will reveal itself in time, right? You know, on the spiritual journey, it's all about patience. I could speak from experience. It's all about patience. But truth's going to win out. So the north node of the moon, you can see it down here, right? The 52, that's the north node of the moon in the sign of cancer. So this is really showing us a future direction. And it's telling us, what's it telling us? It's telling us to keep still, right? It's in the gift of restraint, of restraint. So the temptation here with so much fear on the planet is to take action, so premature action. So there's a pressure because this is this 52 is coming from the root chakra down here in the bottom. So it's a pressure. So it's this pressure to act, right? Take action. You have to do something, right? You got to do something. You got to do something. And when you're in the shadow pattern, you feel stress, right? So acting from stress is really acting from fear not a good place for you to go, right? So maybe you're feeling this pressure in your life right now when it's more most prudent for you probably to restrain yourself, to keep still, 
right? Feel the discomfort coming from deep inside yourself and trust in the divine. The divine sometimes just works things out on its own. I do this all the time. If somebody's coming at me with some kind of emergency, I just tune into myself and it's like, no, I don't have to act or react. I just have to sit this out a little. And then it ends up being played out and the person gets back to me and it's like, oh, this happened, that happened, right? Because they op they react it from the stress. I need help. I need to go outside of myself to get rid of this discomfort that I'm feeling instead of just let life play out. So with the solar plexus mutation that's coming in 2027, we're really witnessing the death of the doer, the death of the doer. So the doer is the ego shadow that believes that it's in control, right? It believes that it makes things happen in your life, right? Nothing would happen if my ego and shadow weren't in control. And this is an illusion. So this illusion is dropping away for this 2027 mutation. So we're moving more into the being right? More into the being, more receptive, allowing creation to serve us, right? Not hustling and hassling. That's the doer. So the death of the doer is happening. And life is happening without your involvement, right? Things are destined to happen in your world in this lifetime, right? Maybe some action was taken by you three lifetimes ago, and it's finally catching up with you now. So the gift of restraint is to not react to these events, but to be the witness, the holy witness, the holy witness. So each one of us is the holy witness to events in this world. You know, there's a part of you, your greater self that knows these words, right? That celebrates these words as truth. Your egoic part of you, the egoic part of you is the one freaking out. And this is your animal self. Right? So remember, we're one part animal, one part human, and one part angel. Right? So, yeah, we're animals. We may, you know, we may be less hairy and smell better and wear clothes, but we're animals nonetheless, this one part of ourselves. So the solar plexus mutation is bringing the elimination of our animal self. Right? Not everyone is going to, is destined to experience this mutation. But uh, if you're watching this, then you are, if you're interested in my work. So remember that there's going to be two species on the planet coexisting at the same time, right? And we're already starting to see that. The ones that are, <clears throat> are evolving and moving towards the light and love, and then the others that are clinging to the past and clinging to fear, right? These are the two species. And this rift is going to get wider and wider and wider as we come closer to 2027. So we're seeing the death now of this old way of being, right? Our animal self is concerned with territory, hierarchy, sex, procreation, food, right? So these events are drying out. So look at these events as drying out all these animal fears in us. These all have to go for the Aquarian age, these animal fears within us. The fear of survival, right, can be totally translated into the fear of not having enough money. It's the same fear, fear of not having enough money, fear of survival, same fear. So let these fears surface in you and don't react, right? Don't act or react. Restrain yourself, contain yourself, and just feel the discomfort. Because really these fears, they're not going to leave until you feel them. So they just want to be felt, right, and moved through. And nothing out here, right, in the external world is going to get rid of those fears. Look at the greedy people in the world that are hoarding all of this money. Do you think they have fear? They totally have fear, but it's a reversal. Their fear of losing all their money, right? So... Also, I want to say, don't think even for a fraction of a second that anyone has any power over you. No one has any power over you. No one can take your freedom without your consent, right? This old consciousness that's rooted in fear and that's coming from our animal self is going. It's going. Bye-bye, right? Have no doubt about that. 
So until January 22nd, that's the start of the real new year, when the sun moves into the 41st gate, it's best to keep still, right? Contain yourself and just watch these events play out. Not that you go numb, right? Or you don't care. You still have your heart open, but you're the holy witness. You're watching these events play out and you're dealing with whatever is coming up inside you. Relate it to these events. So also, I want to send a prayer of peace, right? A prayer of, prayer of peace to Australia and all of the animals who have sacrificed themselves, right? All the trees, all the sentient beings, you know? And know that they're okay, right? Beyond the veil, there's just light. So all these animals, sentient beings, trees, all that, they're fine. And it, wouldn't it be wonderful, right? Imagine this for a moment. If people could see through the illusion and the lies and the greed of the ruling class and didn't, just didn't show up for war. Imagine that. The military-industrial complex declares war and no one shows up, right? Or they use the military to go and help put out the fires in Australia or go and help the homeless and the poor. Can you imagine that world? Well, it's coming, but not today. So it's best to stay in the frequency of peace and don't underestimate the power of you as an individual to spread, spread peace to the world. Don't listen to your ego that says you're too little and, that's, and this is too big, right? Don't underestimate the power of you as an individual. We're all connected. So when you spread peace instead of fear, right, it's going to make others, it's going to make it easier for others to reach for that frequency, right? It's, it's elevating. When you do that, you're elevating the field of human consciousness. So uh, the other thing that's coming up is I'm going to launch a prosperity program and I have to finalize the dates. And I'm thinking prosperity for projectors since we're really in a unique position as projectors living in a generator world and their version of what work is does not fit with pros, uh, projectors. But I want to make it accessible for other types too. But the focus will be on the projectors, but definitely other types can join in too. So you can go get your free chart. I'm going to put the link in my uh, the information box and you can see what type you are. So if you're a projector, then you really want this. And if projectors really uh, are challenged by work, right? Work, working and take care, care of themselves materially, right, on this plane. And if you know you're a projector, you need to go download my Projectors on Purpose webinar series. It's over six hours long. And the projectors who already attended, I'll be sending out another short video in a self-care PDF. And I'm getting caught up on my readings this week, too. So I'm back, back on track. And I want to thank everyone who donated through Patreon and PayPal. And uh, let me see. Oh, good. There's some people here. Awesome. Satnam, Heather, and Bradley, and Lily. Okay. Yvonne says, "Can good to see you. Can you please explain what ego is? What is ego? Well, ego can stand for edging God out. You can look at it that. Ego is like connected to our animal self and it's whole and it's an illusion. It's not who we really are. Um, so how to put this in a nutshell. So the ego is concerned with our survival, like our physical survival. And the ego only sees a small part of our reality. So it's all about the form, right? And the ego has a, a attachment. I mean, I could go on for hours talking about the ego. Um, but let me, um, yeah, let me, I'm going to put a, maybe a blog or something. I've got a great um, visual graphic that I did uh, years ago, how to discern the voice of the ego from the voice of uh, the soul. Okay. 
But uh, what I want to say is ego is not your friend. No matter what spiritual teachers, some spiritual teachers are out there and they ego is your friend and you got to make friends with your ego. And it's like, no, ego is not your friend, right? Ego is not to be trusted, right? It does not have your best interest in your evolution in uh, this lifetime. That's not its priority. Its priority is to stay alive and to control you, to keep you under control and keep you out of your power and keep you small. Okay. So have a wonderful couple of days and I'll probably be back this coming week. I won't go a full seven days again uh, because we've got the eclipse coming on the 10th. Sun is in greed, more greed, more greed shadow to deal with. And uh, then there's the big Pluto, Saturn, Sun, Mercury conjunction. Pluto, Saturn, Sun, Mercury, right? The, all these, this is what the astrologers have been talking about. And it's in the shadow of psychosis. And so that's on uh, the 12th, okay? So for this next while, you want to stay steady, you want to stay in your center, and you don't want to be freaking out, right, and acting prematurely. Just let these events ride out. They're very, very karmic, okay? So please read, uh, leave your comments. I read every single comment. It's true. You'll see my little like. You can't tell it's me, but I'm, I'm putting thumbs up to everybody's comments, okay? And... Uh, have a wonderful couple of days and I'll see you soon. Satnam Aloha.